The Shasta County Sheriff says Sherry Papini created a lot of anxiety in the community when she accused two Hispanic women of kidnapping her, and they wasted unnecessary manpower on her search. Now they put Papini behind bars. She was bound with restraints, but was able to summon help from a passing motorist who then notified law enforcement. In November 2016, Papini was missing for three weeks when she reemerged with minor injuries just over 100 miles from her home. The Department of Justice now believes she spent the time away from her husband and children with an old boyfriend. Apparently, they did do a DNA search, and that search actually developed into the ex-boyfriend. Identity. Bill Garcia is a San Diego based private investigator and was involved in Papini's case. He says his team helped identify potential suspects, which Papini described as two Hispanic women who spoke Spanish. We are looking for a dark colored SUV with two Hispanic females. Even though they looked Hispanic, they're actually Native American. And um, we have followed some of their Facebook rhetoric, and uh, it's interesting to the point that we did contact FBI and the different law enforcement agencies working on Sherry's case to bring these people to their attention. Garcia says he doesn't know if the two women were investigated. Papini claimed that two Hispanic women branded her with a heated tool, chained her in a closet, and held her at gunpoint. Garcia says although this case may turn out to be a hoax, human trafficking is a serious issue throughout the state of California. So if you were looking for an upside, it's like if she, if Sherry did do this in a fraudulent manner, she actually helped bring this topic to a forefront, which would help others in the future. Papini is due in court on Tuesday and will face charges of mail fraud and lying to a federal law enforcement officer. She also faces fines and up to 25 years in prison.